So when I pulled my dash out, I pulled this cable out along with it. This is the manual heater control cable uh, that goes through the firewall. It goes to this connection that takes the, uh, oh my gosh. It makes this connection um, going from the, uh, take, taking the, wow. You know, you like pull it and it opens up this valve under the uh, under the hood that I don't know like does some stuff it makes it makes the air hot <laughs> all around you <laughs> I know what it, I know what it does who am I kidding I'm an expert at this no it uh, it opens up a valve like the coolant runs through the heater the hot coolant runs through the heater after it's been through the engine heats the uh, radiator little thingy inside of the cab up and then the air gets sucked in from the outside uh, passes through the radiator and gets heated up it is a modern marvel if you will uh, that they developed many years ago 40 years ago um, they put this guy in my truck and I was ripping out the dash and I thought I wonder if you could make this electrical where it's like it you know it's just a simple servo what i'm going to do today is throw that thing away and welcome to the 20th century so uh, i got this from tom's bronco parts and this whole thing's supposed to mount under the dash, but what I'm gonna try to do is take this all apart and put this uh, in the hole where the original pull knob was. Get my plethora of hex screws, all the little ones. Hex actually uh, came from the uh, Byzantine emperor, Hexius Armaeus very fam famous emperor there who uh, developed the hex bolt naturally. Not to be confused with the emperor Octavius who um, invented stop signs. Boom. All right, so we got that apart. Let's go see if it fits in the dash. All right, so this is the hole in the dash where the pull knob used to be. And it looks like the hole is big enough for the new knob, but I think I'm gonna need the bezel piece from the original knob. So what I'm gonna try to do, this is the old heater control bezel that goes in the dash. I'm gonna to try to cut this part, cut this off here and open up this hole a little bit and see if uh, that will be a good size for the new knob. If I screw it up, then, uh, well, then this, this guy will go in the trash. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Trying not to cut that little uh, notch out so that I can use it later.
This doesn't look like a good idea. Got it. Cool. Now, let's go try to put it in the dash. And there like that, that like that. Put the little washer on. And this nut. Oops. Nice. actually works. All right, so that actually, uh, it goes in uh, pretty nice. If I was doing it again, <clears throat> I'd make sure to leave that little lip uh, on the threads back there just so because it moves just a little bit but I think there's enough of the lip that uh, it doesn't move a ton all right now uh, the knobs in the dash so I'm gonna remove the old manual control So that pull cable used to just move this that opens and closes a flap inside of here to let the coolant through. But this guy, it's all electronic. So there's no manual pull cable anymore. This little box is where all the wires go. So you wanna mount this somewhere that will stay dry. So I'm just gonna glue it uh, to the bottom of my glove box. Great thing about the painless uh, harness um, is it comes with a ton of extra cables, wires, comes with a ton of extra wires, so I'm actually going to pull one of those wires uh, that I know is ignition hot. For this wire, I only need enough length to get it uh, to the box that I mounted under the glove box. This little vintage air kit came with a 1 amp fuse, so I'm just going to run the painless wire into that. And I'm just going to add this male connector that I picked up from Home Depot. So the last step is to actually turn it all on and see See how that wonderful hot air blows. 
I'm doing the painless wiring harness and this was one of the things that I wanted to do while I had everything apart. So I actually haven't turned it on to see how it all works yet. Um, so I can't really show you that. And <laughs> how would you feel the hot air anyway? You could just take my word for it. It's, it's hot. I have it running right now and you can actually feel the hot air. <laughs> But yeah, again, I got this at uh, Tom's Bronco Parts. Um, I'll put the, the link in the description below. Uh, just click the show more button. So I know I've talked a lot about the painless wiring harness install. Make sure to click the Bronco, the subscribe button, so you can know when it comes out. You'll get a little email in your inbox saying, hey, Nashville Early Bronco uploaded another video. <laughs> it's wonderful. Ha, 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 ha.